today is going to be an extremely interesting video. So for anyone who knows me or who has been following me on social media, you will know seven months ago I quit Strongman, I quit steroids, and recently I have also lost over five stone in body weight. So a big, big difference. Seven months ago when I was doing Strongman, I did Strongman for two years. When I was doing Strongman, I was squatting, benching, deadlifting, and overhead pressing every single week, sometimes twice a week without fail, you know, along with a properly structured strength program. You know, the last seven months, I haven't touched those movements at all, but I'm the fittest I've ever been and healthiest I've ever been. But, you know, the compound movements were what first got me into the gym, so I'm really looking forward to getting back into them with, obviously, the weight difference. And now that I'm a natural athlete instead of an enhanced athlete, so it's going to be very interesting to see where those numbers are. Today, I'm going to max out on, on deadlift, bench, overhead press. I'm also going to do a 2,000-meter row as well, go for a PB on that. been doing a lot of rowing recently, really enjoying that as well. So, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting video, see where my numbers are at. Let's just get straight into it. First things first. Monster energy. Ah, oh, that's good. That is good. First session as a married man as well. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I've decided to leave it there today just because after I did that deadlift, my body was just screaming, saying, bro, you're not used to this anymore, fucking calm down a little bit. And I'm trying to be a little bit more sensible these days, so I didn't push it to the limit on the overhead press or bench, but I reckon around 140 on the bench and around 100 kilos on the overhead press. So still decent numbers, which I'm happy with, considering all the factors I talked about earlier. Um, with a deadlift, however, I'm not happy with that, you know. I think, you know, that, that 210 I did was near the limit there. Maybe 215, 220 on a good day with a belt on as well, possibly, but... Yeah, I'm not happy with that, but you know, I was saying to the lads at the gym, you can't expect to do what, what you once did when you're not even training it. You know, and I was I was five stone heavy. There's all these different factors that come into play. You can't expect to do the same things you used to when you're not even not even doing it. So yeah, it stings a little bit, but I've got to realize all these different factors. But yeah, I'm, I am pretty happy with the bench and overhead press, to be honest. I'm happy where I'm at with that. And I could get back up to decent numbers within a couple of months as well with a muscle memory, you know. Um, I could get back up pretty quick. It's going to be an interesting process, getting the, getting as much strength back as I possibly can at the lower weight and uh, natural athlete. I'm looking forward to the process, really looking forward. It's like starting my strength journey again. It's really exciting, actually. Cheeky physique update. Not the best lighting. Uh, anyway, 2,000 meter row, gonna go for a PB. My PB is seven minutes, 31 seconds. I'm just getting into rowing, just getting into the fitness side of things, so I wanna get this under six minutes, 30 seconds this year, which is a pretty, pretty respectable time. Anyway, let's go, PB time.
people that are trying to pace yourself on this. I always go fast for the first 100 meters, but but keeping the pace and gradually going up after that. I'm very new to this, but I want to get good. For any professional rowers, if you have any advice, shoot it over. Good challenge that is. I love it. 7 minutes 32 is the time. 142 calories burned in that time. The fitness is definitely coming along. But I won that under 7 minutes in the next couple of months. Whew. Gotta keep working hard. I love this shit. I fucking love it. I recently did a 16 week transformation. I'll put a video up on that soon. But I pushed myself big time doing that and there's just something about pushing yourself to the limits there's something beautiful about it only certain people will understand it but there's something extremely beautiful about pushing yourself to those limits and just being in that moment I fucking love this shit I love it So we have got a chocolate protein shake and some chicken breast. That's about 45 grams of protein right here and that's nice and easy and quick. I always get the protein in straight after the gym. But anyway, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you enjoyed. I got many plans for YouTube videos. I'm gonna, the next one's probably gonna be showing my 16 week transformation. So that's gonna be a good video. Keep an eye out for that. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like the video. See you soon. Peace.